All right, we're going to work on this one here. I'm going to assign it to me. And this is from uh, Rut, uh, Rutra, uh, Rutra Kumar. Rutra Kumar? Uh, I hope I said your name right. Thank you for submitting the ticket. And it looks like you put everything in the, in the title. That's fine. Hi, sir. This is uh, Ruthra. Ruthra. Hi, Ruthra from Chennai. Oh, that's India. Awesome. Hello to everybody in India. Big hello. I have facing issues. My storage HP server got restarted automatically. And I get... Uh, let me see here. My storage HP server got restarted automatically. And then I, I get... Let's see. I get checked the logs too. There is more. I, I checked in logs too. There is more reason showing. But what? No, exactly. Uh, information. Um. Hmm. Okay. I think what you're asking here is that you saw that your server got restarted automatically, but you want to know why, and you want to see in logs. All right, well, that's straightforward. So if you right click your start button and then go to event viewer, you should be able to see this. This is a good ticket because I haven't talked about event viewer much. There's a different version of this. I forget what it's called, but there is, uh, um, I think it's called system. Oh boy, what it's called. There's, I have a video on this specifically, where is a simplified version of event viewer if if it's event if if event viewer is difficult to follow and it gives you straight to the point they will talk about restarts and reboots there is a video on my channel that i've talked about i just forget the name if you know the name remember it let me know but it gives you diagnostic of the computer if some kind of events happened which is not event viewer and so you want to look for system logs. This is a PC reboot, right? This is a PC, or not PC, but I guess computer, uh, in this case, server reboot that automatically happened. And we're assuming that it automatically happened. We're gonna find out, but, well, I'm not gonna find out because I don't have your computer <laughs> or your server here, but this is how you would find out. So go to Windows Logs, go to system right because we're talking about a system and we know it's it's a reboot on this computer actually you know what we might be able to recreate this because of this computer that i use for uh, recording these videos i actually pulled the plug on it uh just to, because i don't have time to wait for it to shut down and i don't use it as my main computer but it should reflect that so we know it's a reboot that happened automatically or it just lost power right you know, but we don't know yet, but we're going to have to find out. So go to system because it, it's talking about your system. And here are the log files. So if you select any of these, you can get a brief description of what's going on. Like here is this one. You see how it changes and it gives you details what it is. Some of them are just for your information like this one. And here are some uh, basic issues. And it's talking about reset the device, blah, blah, blah. These are normal warnings that you would see unless you're experiencing some specific issues. Now, what we want to look for are the red exclamation ones, which talk about some critical issues, critical errors. And we can sort this. However, this thing is super, super slow. We can scroll down to it and follow the timeline. You can see that this is 429. So I'm recording this on Friday, 9.16 a.m. By the way, I'm not doing this while I'm working. Because I know this is 9.16. It's around 9.40 a.m. right now. I actually worked uh, on a previous Saturday. So it's my drop day. So I'm not um, stealing from my company. Just so you know. By the way, just real quick. I've noticed some people working two jobs. Working from home. By the way, if you're doing that. It's actually a crime. It's illegal. Just so you know. It's illegal. Because you are getting paid a specific amount of time to work within that specific amount of time for that company. And if you're working a second job and you haven't told that employer, you're that's a crime, just so you know, because you're stealing. You're stealing technically. You know, let's say you're working on your other job, but ignoring the first one, 
and you're getting paid, you get money for what? For nothing? So that's stealing, just so you know. Sorry, it's just a little bit of out of... Out of <laughs> so when I'm scrolling down, and you can find the timeline. Here's a critical one right here. Look at this. And here's exactly what I was looking for. And it just happened to, see, just happened to be. It says critical here, and it's talking about system power. And it says the system has rebooted, rebooted without cleanly shutting down first. This error could be caused if the system stopped responding, crashed, or lost power unexpectedly. Lost power unexpectedly. Remember, I literally just told you that what I was doing is uh, unplugging. I just literally just shut the power whenever I, um, whenever I'm done with using this computer, and now it has rebooted, and the computer can tell that it lost power. Right? The system has rebooted without cleanly shutting down first, so it knows that I haven't clicked start power shut down I did not tell it to shut down at all I just pulled the plug on it and it knows it that happened and this is exactly what you're looking for and it'll t give you the time and date and it'll tell you why and if it's and if if there is a you know and if there is a possible reason for it here it clearly tells you that it has rebooted without cleanly shutting down and most likely cause is loss of power it could be crashed too, but if you see it that it's crashed, then you should look for more critical errors, usually associated with. Well, here's here's something. Here we go. Previous shutdown. See, it knows exactly here. The previous system shutdown was at 2:46 on 4:25. It was uh, it was unexpected. It means I pulled the plug on it, right? So. And we're going to, you would have to be, you, you can look for specifically for source, and that's kernel, kernel power. Here's event log. Well, to help you for this one here, here it is, kernel power. This is the first one we looked at. So you can sort by source, kernel power. You can do a custom, you can create a custom view here. Yeah, let's do that. It takes a bit. I'm going to do a custom uh custom view here so if you click on a custom view over here to the right you can say anytime but if you know that the issue happened for example today you can specify last hour last 24 hours last let's do last seven days and I'm gonna say critical show me only critical and show me errors and that way and I'm gonna tell it to show me system logs and it's already selected there so I'm just gonna click OK I'm gonna click OK and there it is. It sorts it every, for everything for you. You don't have to look for it. So here are all the ones that are on this system. You see? There you go. That's how you do it. Okay. Hello, Ruthra. I have your ticket for um, checking system logs you can use the event viewer to find the reason for reboot and you can also look through there and look to see if it was like a system update that caused it scheduled system update it's all in there you just have to spend time looking for it you know so it's not necessarily just shut down. You can look for other things. That's the point of it. Uh, please watch my video for explanation. Uh, let's say this Sunday. Number 26. Well, you know what? I'm gonna give you a little bit before you before I just say, oh, why wait for my video, which is two days from now. Uh, I'm going to say you can look for kernel dash kernel dash power log errors. Yeah, to get you started, at least. 